guys welcome back today I want to talk about web services so what is a web service a web service is a function that can be accessed by programs over the web also web services are designed to be consumed read and used by other programs why do we need them now the reason that we need web services is because they make our life a whole lot easier when programming so so say for example we're working on a program and for this program that we're working on we need to write a lot of code you know there are some web services online that cut a lot of the time that we spend on writing code in half with web services you can call functions that are located on web services or you can request data that is also located on web services Another thing is that it allows applications to talk to each other. And this actually brings up a question that I was asked on an interview. And the question went, how do you allow applications that are on two different platforms to communicate with each other? The answer to that is web services. Another thing is that it helps developers develop functionality irrespective of programming language via data exchange formats. And those two data exchange formats are XML and JSON. Now this is a type of data exchange format that allows applications to communicate with each other. So if you so for example if you're working with a web service you have the ability to send XML data to a web service and then the web service will, will process that information and then send back a response and you can extract from that response whatever you're looking for. Now I want to talk about how web services work. All right, so imagine that you're on a computer and you're on this shopping website and you want to purchase something online. So in order to do that, you would have to enter in your credit card number and then from there you'll be able to make your purchase. So you enter in your credit card number and when you submit that information it's going to be sent to an application. Now this application may not be associated with anything that is able to validate your credit card number. So it may have to reach out to a some sort of web service that holds information about all credit card numbers associated with a particular credit card. So your application will have to hit this web service and then after that information is processed there will be a response sent back to this application and then once the application has information about whether or not your credit card is approved or not it sends that information back to the client and then you'll be presented with a page such as your credit card has been approved or your credit card has been declined you know depending on the validation of the credit card number that you've entered and that's pretty much how web services work um, another thing is that when you're dealing with web services it's mainly an interaction between applic an application and the web service itself it really has nothing to do with the client side It's basically something that applications use in order to um, grab specific pieces of uh, use specific pieces of functionality or um, request data of some sort Another thing I want to talk about is that there are two types of web services. We have a SOAP web service and a RESTful web service. A SOAP web service stands for Simple Output Access Protocol. Another thing about SOAP is that it's XML based protocol that a client uses to access a web service. A SOAP web service also consists of this thing called a WSDL file, which is an XML file that consists of information about how to use a web service. And it's basically the, the and is basically the most important file that you would use in order to um, call a SOAP web service. Another thing is that it has very rigid standards. So if you're trying to use a SOAP web service, you would have to follow the WSDL file strictly in order to make sure you're getting the information that you need. Another thing about SOAP is that it's less preferred than REST. Now RESTful web services stands for representational state transfer and this is a URI based protocol that a client uses to access a web service. Another thing is that RESTful web services 
have a flexible standard so you don't have to stay within the confines of a WSDL file or anything. It's very flexible. You have the ability to use XML as well as JSON in order to request and receive data. And another thing about REST is that it's more preferred than SOAP. A lot of people are using RESTful web services nowadays in a lot of business applications. So, this brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.